The power off stall is sometimes called the approach to landing stall because it demonstrates what would happen if you were coming up short for a landing and pulled back on the stick causing the airplane to exceed the critical angle of attack. The ACS lists 10 skill areas that applicants must demonstrate proficiency in during their private pilot checkride. These skill areas lay out a set of steps for performing the maneuver at a safe altitude. The first step is to clear the area and is usually performed before starting any maneuvers. Okay, let's see an example of a power off stall. So I'm starting a maneuver at 3,500. I note that that's above my floor in this area of 2,500 MSL, which is 1,500 AGL. I've selected my visual reference. It's going to be that river right off the nose there. And I'm starting with the airplane trim for straight and level flight. So to get the airplane slowed down for the approach to landing part of this maneuver, I'm going to pull the power back to idle. I've already got my car heat on. And I'm just going to try to hold 3,500 here just as a way to slow the airplane down. Once I'm inside that white arc, I will put the flaps down. I'm just going to put them all in at once. No reason to hold off on this. I'm only going to go to 30 because that's our normal flap setting for landing. And there's my 65, so I'm going to lower the nose and set up a descent to land. So this is me approaching the airport. Uh, I've got 65. Oh, it's all stabilized. The only problem is I'm not going to make the runway. So instead of doing the right thing, which is to lower the nose and add power, I'm going to instead use lo no power and just try to drag out the glide by pulling back. This is an approach to landing stall. All right, first sign's coming. There's the stall horn. Pull it back to the stops. Sudden drop. Let it come back down. Not going to push forward. Nothing dramatic about that. Hold it down so I don't get a secondary stall. Once that power comes in, it tries to pitch up on me. And as the airspeed builds, start working up the flaps incrementally. Once I reach 70, I'm going to establish a VY climb. All my flaps are up at that point, And I try to get back up to the altitude I started at, simulating a go-around during our approach. That is an approach to landing stall.